This is Melissa Miguelis with Long Beach Local News. We're at the Museum of Latin American Art here in Long Beach to view the very exciting Port of Long Beach photo gallery tour. It's an exhibit here running through the end of the month. We're here with Griselda Suarez. Nice to see you. Thank you, nice to see you too. So you're the executive director of the Arts Council of Long Beach? Yes, yes I am. So obviously you had a hand in this photo contest. Tell us a little bit about the contest itself. The contest is a collaboration between the Port of Long Beach and the Arts Council. Uh, we have been doing it for four years now and the last two years has been here displayed at MOLA. Uh, this, this contest is really a workshop and community project all in one. Because of the port's, support, the port's involvement, we're able to bring high school, um, amateur, intermediate, and advanced photographers all together for a workshop. And they learn about the photography, they learn about the port, and then they, go t they get to go on a boat and see it in the best lighting ever, which is right in the, in the, in the evening. Um, and from there, we find these beautiful contestants in this gallery, and then we narrow it down to a, a top winner. It is such a great way to showcase some of the local talent here. Also, the beauty of the city and the beauty of the greenest port. Yeah, yes, absolutely. And what I love about this project, and I think it's so important, is that it highlights photography. And we have amazing photographers here in Long Beach, as you can see. Um, photography, it's a big art here, and a big art on the university. We have students studying it. We have professional photographers working in photography here every day. And so I'm so excited that it's highlighted during October is Arts Month. Oh, we love it. Well, I know that there'll be a lot of interest from our viewers, so I have to ask you, how do you apply for maybe next year? Well, next year, yes, it's, it's an elite competition, and when I say elite, it's not that um, everyone's welcome to apply. The thing is, is that the port um, has created a website where you uh, enroll, and the, usually in July, so let's say next July, go online, sign up for the port um, social media, and you'll get the announcement, sign up for our newsletter and for our social media, and you get the announcement, and as soon as the call is out, you enroll, and then it is actually a lottery. And so through that lottery, we get about um, sometimes 80 to 90 participants. And I am with the overall winner of the contest, Ida, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you just took a, a stunning photograph. It really displays the port of the future. Uh, yes, actually, it was, I was very lucky at that point. So I can see the old bridge and the one the new bridge is rising together. It's very good timing with the night is falling, so it was I was lucky, I think. Very good job. So how did it feel to be a participant in this program? Uh, I tried to participate in this program last two years, actually, and uh, I couldn't because at that time they are working like first come, first serve basis. And I really like to see the port because I'm living in Long Beach and we always drive around the port, but you cannot go inside the port. So it was a really good opportunity for a photographer to see the other side of the area. And this year, uh, when I heard it, I just apply, and uh, I was one of the winners of the lottery, so I just get in there. I also think that you're quite the inspiration for someone who might not get in the first time, try, try again, because we have a winner right in front of us. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope so. Thank you. So we are just so lucky to have a, the port that gives back and really celebrates the community and brings them up close to we, we can actually get a vantage point of what happens kind of behind the scenes. Absolutely, and I think um, it's so special for anyone to be able to get onto the water and see the port in, in action, um, and we appreciate that. And the port's dedication to making art a community experience, this is a perfect example um, of how they give back. Um, we often uh, don't think about giving back or sponsorship as part of the art community or the art ecology. And it is because they support artists and we support artists and then communities can come to MOLA um, on Sundays for free or any other night and see these beautiful works of art. So it's just a healthy part of the, of the system. That's right. So like Griselda was saying, you could come down Sundays for free. What's there? No excuse there. Know, right? Come definitely check out one of the greatest museums, I'd say, in the United States. This is an incredible space that they've dedicated to this exhibit. We love your hard work at the Arts Council. Thank you. Thank and we also, we just appreciate the port so much, th what they do for our community. So thank you. You're welcome.